As Senator-elect Doug Jones prepares to be a voice for Alabama and Washington, Roy Moore still refuses to concede in Alabama's U.S. Senate race. As we told you on the CBS 42 News at 10 Wednesday night, the Moore campaign released a statement on YouTube. CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughey is in studio with a look at that statement and what's next for Jones. James? Well, Jim, when the Associated Press called the race in favor of Jones Tuesday night, the Moore camp fell silent. In this statement released Wednesday, Moore said he's not giving up just yet. In this race, we have not received the final count to include military and provisional ballots. This has been a very close race, and we are awaiting certification by the Secretary of State. In a recorded video statement Wednesday, Roy Moore thanked his supporters and talked about the importance and reach of the Senate race. This particular race was watched not only by the people of this state, but by the entire nation and many around the world. Why? Because I believe the heart and soul of our country is at stake. Meanwhile, Doug Jones made a victory lap and called on Moore to step aside. Do the right thing, Roy. It's time that we heal. From my perspective, it's as clean cut as it's going to get, and, and I, I, I feel very confident. Officially, Jones won't become a United States Senator until he's seated by the Senate, and before that, the vote count must be certified. It is a very important process, and it is, it is absolutely necessary to the full credentialing of the new U.S. Senator. Certification must be issued between December 26th and January 3rd. So Moore is right, ballots are still being counted, but the likelihood that those votes could change the outcome is slim. As for a recount, it's unlikely the totals will be close enough that it would be automatic. Moore could demand one, but it probably wouldn't change the result. When we've seen recounts on statewide races before, the margin has been within a couple hundred votes, and when that has happened, uh, we have recounted all the ballots and only a shift of maybe four or five votes has even occurred. Uh, a recount would not change the deadline for certification. That still has to be done by January 3rd. Coming up, is Doug Jones ready for Washington and will he get to vote on the GOP tax bill? I've got more for you on the CBS 42 News at 6. In the studio, James McConaughey, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.